Massimo pulse oximetry and expanded parameters. To utilize the Massimo pulse oximetry features in the X-Series Advanced, first attach the patient cable to the side of the device as shown. Choose a site to apply the appropriate sensor. The site should be well perfused. The ring finger or middle finger of the non-dominant hand is preferred, but other sites may be used as necessary. Do not select an SpO2 site on the same limb as the NIBP cuff. Inflation of the cuff will cause the SpO2 values to read incorrectly. When the connection is made between the sensor and the unit, the message, initializing, appears in the display. After a brief delay, the unit displays the pulse oximetry measurement as the large number in the upper portion of the SpO2 window. As the initial measurement is being displayed, the plethysmograph waveform will automatically display on the screen. If the X-Series Advanced is appropriately equipped and configured to display some or all of the Massimo expanded parameters, the measurements will alternate every two seconds underneath the pulse oximetry value. This allows all available parameters to be viewed by the provider without taking any extra steps to display them. The available expanded parameters are carbon monoxide, methemoglobin, total hemoglobin, pleth variability index, oxygen content, and perfusion index. Use the navigation keys to highlight and select the SpO2 numeric display to display the SpO2 parameter control panel, where you can select options that optimize the use of pulse oximetry for the patient. In the control panel, the provider has the ability to enable and disable alarms, enable and disable available parameters, and adjust sensitivity and averaging times.